at the merch. I know that so many of you have so many questions about my upcoming role on Law & Order SVU. I have only a couple of scenes in the episode. I'm guest starring, but it's also like a cameo, but I'm not famous enough for it to be called a cameo, so. I am currently in my hotel room. I go to set at 8 a.m., which is just 10 hours from now, so I'm like freaking out. Anyways, I just wanted to answer a couple questions that I've been getting all week from my friends and my family and my mom, and I know some of you guys probably wanna know the answers to this as well, so I just wanted to answer. This is honestly just for me too, like just to document all the things that I went through to get this role. So here we go. Um, if you guys are wondering what I'm looking at, it's my laptop. So yeah. What was the audition process like? The audition process was kind of crazy. It took three and a half weeks for me to get this role. Originally, I saw the breakdown for this role online and I just submitted myself for it. It was kind of weird because they were looking for any ethnicity and any gender. So if you guys don't know what that means, that means that basically anybody in New York can audition for this role. They liked my submission and they asked me to come in for an audition, which was the very next day. I had to work. If you guys don't know, I work between the hours of 8 p.m. and 8 a.m. As soon as I got off of work, I took a plane to New York City, I had to pay for a plane ticket, 200 bucks, got here, auditioned, paid for another plane ticket to get back, landed, and then as soon as I stepped off the plane, I found out that I got a call back, which was like crazy, I was like so excited. I got the call back and I was like, I'll pay $500 again for anything. And then I went to the call back and got the part. I went to the call back like, three days after my first audition, and then I got the part three days after my callback. But like, there was more time in between there. So yeah, it was about three and a half weeks for this role. So that was the audition process. It was kind of tough. <laughs> they were trying me a little bit, especially in the audition room, just because I am a new actor when it comes to network television. If you guys don't know, I don't have an agent. I don't have a SAG card. Yeah, for them to take a chance on me is absolutely beautiful and uh, Thank you, NBC and Dick Wolf and Jonathan Strauss. You guys are absolutely amazing. I love you. Tell us a little bit about your character. My character on the show, his name is Taylor Jones, and he's very persnickety, and he has ADHD. He's a part of like this special needs school. Uh, my inspiration for this character was Tracy Flick from Election. Um, I hope it pays off tomorrow. Once again, it's a very small part of the episode, but this episode is crazy. There's like three twists in it. I don't know, it may be my favorite Law & Order episode. I'm gonna say that now, but we'll see what happens. Is this your first TV show? This is not my first TV show, actually. I started on a TV show called Fatal Attraction. It was an investigation discovery type of show for TV One. I played a guy named DeAndre, who's like a witness to this murder, and it was the funnest time of my life. I drove to Knoxville, Tennessee and shot that, and it was absolutely amazing, and that was my first time on TV where I was actually seen. Do a Q&A later for you guys of acting opportunities I've completely missed, including being on set of Shades of Blue with J-Lo and having my scene cut. Ugh, I hate it. Are you gonna vlog on the set tomorrow? I am probably not. Not on the actual set, but I am gonna vlog pretty much everything else. How one of the costume designers told me yesterday was like, you know, own this moment. It's like once in a lifetime and you just gotta do what you gotta do. And if you gotta take pictures on set, take pictures on set. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I just wanna be completely professional, obviously. How many auditions do you have to do to get this? I did only two auditions. Yeah, but it was over the course of three and a half weeks and it was so stressful. Is it hard to memorize your lines? I only have a couple. The only thing that's kind of difficult is that I am playing a special needs student and I, like having ADHD, but luckily like throughout my entire childhood, I've been watching, you know, election and a social network. So Mark Zuckerberg in that movie. So I'm like using that as my character traits and yeah, I hope you guys like it. So yeah. Where in New York are you shooting the show? We're shooting the show in the Upper West Side. It's in this very uppity kind of like prep school area just because the kids on the show kind of go to like this upper echelon type of school. So once again, that's why I'm being like really persnickety on the show. Okay, what was the craziest and most unexpected unexpected thing to happen so far. The craziest and most unexpected thing that happened so far was going in for my fitting today and walking through the set of Law & Order. I had no idea that the same place that the production offices are and the same places that I was auditioning is the place where they have the courtroom and Liv's home and Liv's child's home and it was just so cool. It's funny too, I'm glad that like I got to see that because I was like vlogging like the location of the production offices but the fact that like 
Mariska Hargitay like shoots in there. Like I'm, I know I'm gonna have to like edit my vlog to where it doesn't show a lot of that. That was the craziest and most unexpected thing. I haven't met any of the stars of the show and I probably won't just because I don't have any scenes with them, but once again, I can't wait for you guys to watch the show. What is your favorite Law & Order episode? My favorite Law & Order episode would have to be, there was this one back in like 2004, 2003-ish, Scully was still on the show, and it was like these two kids, oh my God, all the noise in the background. One kid like told the other kid to do something and then the other kid did it and then he like blamed it back on the other kid. It was so good. Anyways, Monterey, California, when I went with my friends uh, or my friend a couple weeks ago, I saw the episode and yeah, that's my favorite. This actually may be my new favorite. Uh, what are the producers like? The producers are so nice, like super duper nice. I think in the audition room, the casting directors were a little bit fiery or, well not my first audition, my callback was an experience. I will talk about it in another video. Well, they were friendly. They were just very neutral. And I think that they were just trying to prepare me for how life is gonna be like on set since I've never really been on set for a network show or anything like that. So, I don't know. I just thought that was really cool. Um, are you excited to shoot? Duh. Do you see how big my smile is? Do you see how many pants I'm wearing or whatever? Oh. <laughs> Friends reference if you don't get that. I am so excited to shoot. This is my first really big thing and I'm thanking God every single moment and every single step of the way and really taking this seriously. My script is right here and I'm like so excited. I'm actually gonna open it right now for you guys. Just to show you how excited I am to shoot. So this is like the holy grail. This is just the yellow scripts, if you guys can see that. There's different like production scripts that they release. So there's blue, pink, which are just for like the production team. And then once they cast the show, they'll release the yellow pages, which is this script. And then tonight I got my green pages, which means go. Like it means like everything's set. And they have like my episode name right there. It's so cool, I'm so excited. So just to tell you guys how excited I am. And when does the episode air? So I actually don't know this. By the time that this posts, I will know when the episode airs. So I'm just gonna put it right here. This is the date that the episode airs. Go and watch Law & Order SVU Pathological Episode 9, Season 19, and that's where the episode is gonna air. Thank you guys so much just for watching my acting journey. Like, that's why I started doing these vlogs. That was the original intention, and now my dream is coming true, and I'm really, really excited. As a little boy watching this show with my grandmother, I never thought that I would be on it, so. Thank you, God. Thank you, everybody, for supporting me, for all the love. I know it's because of you that all this has happened, the law of attraction, it's great. And yeah, I'm heading to bed. I got an early call time tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. Talk to you later, bye.